Hey everybody, it's Bob here with Making Stuff and welcome to another Making Stuff video. This is part two of the Digital Caliper project where I'm just going to quickly show you the software and how it works. If you missed part one, that's where we made this plug that we can plug into the digital calipers and get the data values from the calipers into an Arduino or a computer. And I have that software written and ready, so let's go over here to the notebook and I will show you how it works. Okay, so here is the source code. I'm really not gonna go into a whole lot of detail on how it works, but I will say that this came about because I needed a more efficient way to get the data from the calipers, from these calipers into the computer or an Arduino. And what I found from looking on the internet um, all of the code used blocking loops, they used while loops. So what that means is that while the calipers, well the computer or your Arduino would wait for the data to come from the calipers. And the calipers send the data out this port in 100 millisecond cycles. So you get about 10 readings a second. And that's really slow in Arduino terms. And if you wanted this to do something and then process the data, it was waiting on the caliper. So what I've done is I've come up with some code that uses interrupts, which will allow processing to continue instead of wait. And then when the data comes in from the calipers, it takes priority in the Arduino and it's processed. So let me show you how this works. I'll turn on the calipers. And another thing that I did is it only shows the value, or it only sends a value out the data port if this value changes. So this says 0 0.01, and if you look here on the screen, it's not sitting here just scrolling up 0 0.01 over and over and over again. So that saves some processing time too. So I'll show you here, as this changes, you can see the value on the screen changes too. So that means that whenever this value on these calipers change, it's sent out the port into the Arduino and now the Arduino is sending it to my serial port here. Okay, so if you're wondering why I'm doing this with the digital calipers and the efficient code, the reason would be I am teaming up with Russ Grease over at rwgresearch.com he has a YouTube channel called RWG42985. If you haven't checked out his channel, go over there and look at some of the cool stuff that he's doing. Um, what we're gonna be working on is going to be a filament extruder for 3D printers. Now he's already started this project and he has one built, but he wants to make it automated. And he's asked me to help him with the software side of things, the Arduino, and we're gonna work on this together and make a 100% open source filament extruder with all the files, everything available that anybody can build. Now, if you're excited about that and you like that, please subscribe to my channel. Go over to Russ's channel, check out his videos. Um, be sure and subscribe so you don't miss any of the upcoming videos. And this project is a goal of mine to have done in time for the Nashville Mini Maker Fair. I would love to have one built and set up at the fair making filament that I can give away to all of the people that show up at the fair and visit my booth. So if you like what you've seen, subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and here's that link I was telling you about. That's the source code uh, for this video. There's a little bit other information on there. And if you missed part one in this video, don't forget to go back and watch that one too. That's where we make the port uh, for the calipers. So I hope you like what you've seen. And as always, keep making stuff.